let's go to the abattoir once again. Yeah, you lose the max cap on your health, but you don't actually gain the health back. So I still have the health that I had when I entered, but I don't have the the cap limiting me anymore. Same with like my thirst and hunger and whatnot. It's at the same level it was before, so it's a good thing that I drank and ate and healed and all that. And the good thing is this time I don't have to take any of Mother Boda's blood for myself. I can just use it all to make panacea. Because I don't, like before I think I came in here and my, I think my thirst was extremely high or something like that. I think I pretty much had to drink Mother Bodo's blood at least once to be strong enough to fight the really strong Odongs in here. But now I don't have to. Okay, so my assumption that I'm going to roll with going inside of the Apatoy this time is that I'm going to assume time when I come out is going to be amplified. Meaning, I'm going to assume that like every minute I spend in here equals 10 minutes outside or something like that. Because I remember when I checked the time up here, it was passing, but very, very, very slowly. So I thought, oh, got all the time in the world, pretty much. But then when I came out, it suddenly went forward like 10 hours or something, and it was the next day, and a bunch of people died. So I'm hoping that it's a time multiplier based on the time I spend in here and not just a straight like if you go in you're gonna always come out at exactly this time because I would like to be back before 7 30 tomorrow so I have a chance to see the play and all that stuff yeah I totally missed the play didn't I because when I came out it was the next day this is gonna be interesting but yeah I'm gonna try to be super fast when it comes to the movement I've already been in here. I know what I'm going to see, pretty much. We'll see if anything's different, of course. But other than that, I'm just going to go for it. Let's mark the starting time, too. Went into the abattoir at 21.58. You're going to say, this is our blood. Six springs, six gulps. We will not allow you to drink our blood. This blood belongs to everyone. You do not know what to do with it. Our blood is shared. You are not part of us. You are different. Your blood is different. If I have a gulp, maybe I will become part of you. Who are you? Mess Zaslin Empsh. But we are beasts. We are worms. Do you know that we are worms within Earth? Whose blood is it, Hatonger? It's Mother Bodo's blood. She feeds us with her breast. Listen. Can you hear the pulse? This is the pulse of her veins, Ahar. Give me a sip. <laughs> so thirsty. Oh yeah, quest, quest things appear on the bottom left of the screen, but I can't actually open the quest log or anything like that. The only thing I can open is my inventory. Yeah, these are totally grayed out. So I'm not going to drink that, because I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to that with a vial. You are going to try to kill me, so I'm going to sneak past you. Tearing a healthy body to shreds with illness is like breaking a nutshell. I will come back for you. It hurts men to outgrow their swaddling cloth. It aches to shed old hides. When it runs at the seams, it aches. If you are too weak to bear it, you die. Man, this place... 
This place is amazing. I'm running through here. But god, the first time I went in here, I'm glad I took everything really slowly and took everything in. Because this place is so powerful. The first time. Hello, Anara. I don't want the Odong back there to aggro to me. It can happen. It happened once. Why are you surprised? We've seen this conversation before. I'll bring you back if anything's different. Okay, just cut Nara. Ugh. I forgot there were more noises to come. God, this sequence is horrible. And I know that the only thing I need to take is this. Thread is thin like nerves. This is the second thing out of three. Okay, now that I have Menhu's finger, I can use it to kill the Odongs. This might be a good time to kill it because I think it's about to turn around. There it goes. Is, is there any point in cutting it open? No, just by killing it I get this fingernail. It doesn't look like a real fingernail at all. This is the first thing out of three. Got two of the things, plus an empty bottle. Alright, let's go back and get the two springs back here and the other Odong here. Mm, I need to wait. Maybe not. I'm going to be a little bit risky because I, I want to be fast in here. Yeah, this is good. Good, good, good. That worked out. Let's get the one all the way back at the beginning. What time is it, by the way? It's been three minutes? I wonder if that means three hours. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, this is where things get challenging. There's a lot of Odongs here that all aggro at the same time. Only dreadnoughts. Only grown beings. Overstepping beings. Daring beings. Ones with awoken souls. Mighty thoughts. They can withstand ache and wisdom. Whew. Okay, another one's coming. Another one's coming. Whew. That's scary. If you just, if your timing on the second stab is a little bit wrong, you get hit, and man, do they hurt. Alright, I have three panaceas, two more bottles. I didn't miss a bottle, did I? No. Yeah, that's as many as I can get. Then, learn to behold deeply. So many below the nets filled with meaning. So many Too many voices. So much to uncover. Okay, go ahead. Tie it together. Tie what? Show us if you are a good men who am Shen. Show us you know how to connect things. Teaching healers the gaze. Teaching men folk to see the might in you. Zurhen's small chamber. This is where we talk to our own heart? Or is the other one where it's more like an echo of me? 
Speak to me. Who are you? I am a Zurhen. I'm your heart, Hatonger. You have connected things, so you can now hold me in your hand. Hear my voice as if I were a stranger. Speak to me. What's going on here? You now see the nature of the kin. Look, the sand pest shirks the quiet and the humble. The ones who do not know the thought of self, who do not reach upward. So this gets to the heart, pun intended, of a theme that was made clear to me just a little bit ago when I think it was Maha Satama, uh, one of my viewers, posted a comment that was a essay talking about the themes of this game. And yeah, one of the th themes is growing up. I mean, think of the polyhedron, right? Only kids are allowed inside. It's filled with kids, although many of them are older than kids, but they just don't age. And our father gave us a list of children because the children shape the future of the town, he believed. And that we needed them to remake the town better after Isidore broke the town's bones. And then I guess the kids would make it heal back correctly. And the kin are also, they're pretty childlike as well. They're ruled by force. They're pulled around by the yoke, as Oyun said. So that's what this is talking to the sandpest shirks the quiet and the humble the ones who do not know the thought of self who do not reach upward yeah remember how the kin are or there's many of the kin think of themselves as not even thinking like we don't think as the kin we we think as like a whole as a whole community that just gave me an idea about why the sand pest exists. So we know the sand pest comes from Mother Bodo. It's a, a cry of anguish, pain, and, and anger at being wounded by the polyhedron, right? What if... What if that's why the sand pest only targets those who those who reach upward, as Zerhen Small Chamber said. What if the reason it only targets those who reach upward is because it knows if people keep reaching upwards, it is going to either die, the living earth will die, or become irrelevant? Could that be why it released the sand pest? That's a disturbing thought. Uh, do not reach upward, but walk on all fours instead, I see. That which you call a sand pest is just an aspect of Earth. Her agony, her scream, her voice. It's only lethal to humans, but not to those who forget the word I. Not to those who speak little. Those who have no need of words don't feel it at all. So the sand pest is only lethal to humans? This disease threatens only those who sever themselves from Earth. Stay with us and live. Merge with us. Return to us. We love you. Don't split off. You hurt without us just as much as I hurt, torn out of you. Return to your body, Tangare, and your body is your people. So before my last playthrough, I refused merging. This time? Remember, I'm playing a Bura that's going to try to save the living Earth. And it's going to try to return our people to how we used to be. So I'm going to say I want to live. Be simpler. Be silent. Abandon speech. You'll feel what they want you to know without it. When you need to express yourself, you'll find a way to connect to them without words, too. There will be no other people. Everything will be united in Earth. Fine. I'll stay. I'll abandon speech. What does this do? Kindly Earth. Do 
Do I still jump into the hole? I guess? Let's go! I sense something close by. Yes. Let's find Zerhen's big chamber. God, this place looks so amazing. I'm kind of numbed to it because I've already seen it before, but God, is it amazing. A living heart of a giant creature. The eighth. It's beating. Barely. Talk to me. I remember it echoed everything I said. It didn't seem to say anything new. I want to check each time and make sure it is not saying anything new. Talk to me. To me. I've been talking to you this whole time. So the first part is the echo, but then there's like a thought here. As if it's just going straight into my head, like this is what I hear, but then this is what I feel, maybe? I've been talking to you this whole time. You're the Uderg. Uderg. I don't know this word. You are the voice of Earth, no? No. You're not? Then am I talking to myself again? I tend to do that, yes. Yes. <laughs> the town is alive. Alive. No, you're not just an echo. God, I wish I could talk with it more. That's it. Alright, we need to leave now. Again, because of the time thing. Let's find that ladder. And say hi to baby Vlad. Give him a big heckin' surprise. Let's see what time it is. Five. So, when did we come in? We came in 2158, so it's been seven minutes. Let's see if seven minutes translates into seven hours. That's my hunch. Oh yeah, death is going to roll its dice and all that. Everybody should be good, though. Daylight and waking life mean less and less. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. Generous reward awaits you. Uh-huh. Let's roll some dice. Also, people seem to really dislike me now that I've done this. Probably because I went into Earth. Ah, shit. Really? Fuck. Ah, oh, alright. Oh, come on. I'm getting real bad luck today. Ah. <sighs> Oh no. Oh no. Jesus Christ. Whew. Hmm? Oh my fucking god. Is that five infections? Yulia, don't die. You're good. Huh. Jesus Christ. That was bad, but nobody died. But god damn, are there a lot of infected? Four? Five? Wait, six? Oh, right, there's six because Yuli was already infected, and they're still infected, of course. It is... Oh, it's only 1 a.m.? You had 12 days. It's only 1 a.m. So... Huh. 
it, it does seem to be definitely that time is multiplied. It doesn't. It's not that you come out at a very specific time always on day ten, but just time goes faster than it seems down there. But it's not one minute equals an hour. I don't. I don't know what it is. Five, six, seven. I mean, seven somehow turned into going forwards by three hours. I, I don't know. Maybe there's some rounding or something. But not much time has passed at all. I still totally have time to go to the theater and all that. Unfortunately, all of these panaceas are going to have to be used on the kids. Because they're all going to be forcefully infected at the same time when death pays a visit, I think, today. But actually, that will work out pretty well for something. Uh, Nakin and Han are both infected, so that's two of the already infected that I'm also going to treat with the panacea. So that means only, <laughs> only four infections that I won't have panacea for. Or wait, there's more than five kids, aren't there? I think there were six. So I actually don't have enough panaceas for all the kids. <sighs> We'll deal with it when the time comes. Not so many, but enough. One more day has passed. The town shifts. Interesting. Um, oh, this is the day this happens with the map, right? Um, young Vlad was here right outside the well in the other playthrough when I came out. They're not here this time. It's very interesting. Something stirs in the theater. She is a herald of the law. Now, we come to the time when deities begin to die. You're back. I can tell you've been inside. How did you get here? Why are you waiting for me? I'm not here for you. Then how... What did you see there? The guts of our people. Yes, Atonger. We are beasts. We crave a strong hand. You understand now that you must take power over them. Take an Udhe and herd them like cattle. Who killed my father, Kindred? One of our own. Who, exactly? I'll tell you when I'm sure our people have a future. No one from the kin would dare lay a hand on him. Your father's path brought us no happiness. They don't need to be turned into people. Animals demand a different sort of care. Don't you see, Ahar? This cursed plague is no threat to us while we remain beasts. Mother Bodo's blessings fall on simplicity. Earth doesn't brook those who walk too straight. What does that have to do with the infection? It's not like we're immortal. We'll still die like cattle, just a bit later perhaps. Your father let the sand plague into the town. He let everything you now see around you happen, deliberately. I knew it. I'm too simple to understand his complex reasons. He believed the sand pest would turn subhumans into humans. Creatures who have not lived into living creatures. He said, a town like ours must endure it to live and mature. It's called a vaccination. It would turn subhumans into humans. So... It's interesting. This compared with my thought that maybe Mother Boda was deliberately killing everybody who was reaching upwards so that they would stay relevant and stay alive. Just an idea, I don't know if that's actually true. But then Isidore apparently let it out on purpose not to keep Mother Earth alive, really, but to turn the kin into real people. That's interesting. What else did he say? 
that you would come and finish what he started. Wait, I need some time to think it all over. You are exhausted. You need sleep. Dreams will help you sort your thoughts. As for me, I leave for a long go. My place is there. So too will yours one day. Beharanam, now is not the time to rest. Something stirs within you. Father deliberately let the plague into the town. And this is all the stuff we did inside. Here, people nod each other like rats. Here, people dissect the living to understand. Here, people drink blood to survive. Want to go back home to start the panaceas brewing? Um, let's get the map for the day. Really helps me plan out exactly what I need to do. 20 for the map, it gets so expensive at this point. You know, I don't think I need all these antibiotics. Especially these lower tier ones. Yeah, that's good. Alright, who is in danger? Sticky. Um, hmm. I'm... Hmm. I'm pretty confident... Yeah, today must be the day where the kids are deliberately infected. So, that means there's absolutely no point in giving an immunity booster to a kid that's just going to be forcefully infected anyway, later today. Yeah, yeah. But, Artemis going to need it. Peter. The Sabarovs, damn. An Anna? What's, wait, what's going on with Anna? Why... It doesn't say they're in danger. And their house isn't highlighted, just like Reuben. Do they disappear just like Reuben? Okay, that's disconcerting. And then, young Vlad. That is a lot to deal with. This is a hell of a day, huh? Alright, let's get all of the panaceas brewing. It's gonna take four hours. That's fine. Thankfully, it's fully upgraded, so I can do all of them. And they'll be ready. Four, five, six. They'll be ready a little bit before this day fully starts. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to finally get to see what the performance was during the night, because I entirely missed the entire night in my last playthrough. And then go to the dead item shop. Got quite a bit of dead items. And then we'll go from there.